Hello everyone, I am Jody the Etsy Rose and welcome back to Oz with Solomon. So, uh, I'm sorry about the, I'm sorry about the last episode, uh, kind of farting on us. Uh, Mabazan, uh, well, more like it was Mabazan that farted on us. Uh, let me, I'll always go back, I'll go back through it and get what I couldn't get. <laughs> get carried away, why don't you? Everyone cheerfully chatted away around Orlando. Orlando. Leonardo. However, I couldn't bring myself to want to join in with the chatting. As my heart dictates, I just... I just don't have the confidence. I couldn't pull the great tree's words from my mind. No, that's enough. If I just keep thinking by myself, I'm just going to get depressed. So I whispered to myself before turning to face the others. Who should I have to hear out? Mm. I know, ah, uh, Solomon, hear me out. Solomon was with me when I heard the great tree. Solomon should understand the confusion I'm feeling right now. Solomon was sitting a little far away from the others. Hey, Solomon, could I have a moment? Solomon looked at me and smiled gently without a word. I thought it was about time you came around. What? You hadn't come. If you hadn't come, I was going to go speak to you myself. He went on, looking at me with all knowing eyes. You're worried about what the great tree told you, aren't you? I came out and spoke to Solomon about how I felt. About how I didn't have the confidence that I could choose the path that the great guardian tree said I could. I was told to follow my heart, but I still don't know. I said as I looked right at Solomon. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I can do. I just don't know. And that's what, and that's got you scared. I, I nod silently. Before I say something to that, would you mind if I told you a little bit about myself first? About yourself? Indeed. First, a confession. This is interesting. Are you afraid right now? As you are afraid right now, so am I. You... Solomon... No way! It's true, I'm a coward. I'm always fearful of the fate... I'm always fearful of the weight of the fate I've been saddled with. Solomon said with a sigh. You already know that the wizards of this world have weaknesses and limitations, correct? Yeah. I remembered what Wesley told me. We call it the cost. And of course, I have one as well. I want to tell you about that cost. Really? I hesitated. A wizard's cost is his weakness. You would tell me such an important thing? You're the one I want to tell you to, Rhoda. I could see strong resolve in Solomon's eyes. I'll listen to him. If Solomon's going to tell me, I'll accept whatever he tells me. I give a little nod, and Solomon slowly started speaking. The cost of my magic is freedom. Freedom? The source of my power, of my life, was changed into a gem. That gem is, essentially, the foundation of the Quadlings. Its defender. And then Mabazan all of a sudden decides to freeze on me, which I find to be absolutely aggravating. Why now? Why now? <laughs> to protect the peace and tranquility of my beloved quadlings, I placed the gym somewhere within it. 